Hey everybody, today we are gonna look at an SD floor plan together. This is one of our studio floor plans here at Residences at Capital View. If you're interested in seeing a full tour of it, then stay tuned. So we are getting started right here in the entryway of this SD floor plan. So this is a studio floor plan. Um, it does have very high ceilings, I will point out, and you'll kind of see that as we go throughout the home. One of my favorite things is actually gonna be the patio, but we'll get to that in just a second. So right here, starting in the entryway, you do have this nice little space through here. Um, you have a coat closet on my right. So I would do like coats in here, holiday decorations. I'd probably put my trash can in here just for additional storage. As we make our way in, you have this nice area right here that I want to touch on and spend a minute going over um, because I do think it's a really unique space to see in a studio apartment, um, let alone apartment in general. So these custom cabinets up here, um, and they do provide that additional storage for you. Storage in a studio is super important, uh, but to have these right here is really nice because I would probably use this as like a work from home station. You could totally make it a coffee bar, a wet bar. Um, it's really whatever fits your needs. But you have these nice shelves here. You could make this a bookshelf. You could store picture frames or put like a bowl for your keys like right here. So you could just drop them as you walk in. Um, you could slip a desk chair underneath, as I mentioned, and have a nice seating area. So this area is really flexible and that's something I appreciate and especially want in a studio. Behind this area is gonna be your kitchen. So you do have custom floor to ceiling cabinetry that's a Northwood Raven signature staple, along with your wine rack above the fridge that's another Northwood Raven signature staple. You have stainless steel appliances throughout the home, um, and you do have these really pretty quartz countertops that are kind of speckled with different colors in them, and then white tile to match with the backsplash there. I like that you have so much room in here. Once again, in a studio, you can never have enough. Um, and this really almost feels like a one bedroom with how much storage and options that you're given in here. It makes for a really, really nice home. Um, and you have tons of counter space to work with. So if you like to cook, you still don't lose any of that. Just because it's a studio, you have tons of room down there and over here as well. You can use this. Um, that's another idea I just thought of. Um, you can use this as like a little breakfast nook. So if you wanted to put chairs under here, um, you could have your morning coffee there or your breakfast, whatever it might be. In here is gonna be your washer and dryer. So they do already come installed in the unit for you. They are stacked front load Whirlpool washer and dryer. Um, so when you come and pick up your keys to move in, they will already be in the apartment for you. So you won't need to worry about bringing yours with you. And then we're gonna make our way into the living area of the floor plan. So this unit is really, really interesting. Um, you have this wall here because it is a studio. Um, but I like that the wall gives you privacy. In a lot of studios, you see them kind of like a shotgun style where you walk through and you see everything. But I like that we have this wall here to break that up. Um, I would actually probably mount my TV on that wall just to use the space because there is a cable connector right here. You have an outlet. You could put like um, a credenza or some kind of TV stand or something if you don't want to mount your TV, but you could really maximize the space. You have these nice shelves over here. These are custom built-in shelves, so you can use this as a bookcase. Um, you could really display your items on here, picture frames, and make it super personalized to your taste. And then I would probably put my couch over here, and maybe like a big area rug or something to fill the space. You do have vinyl wood plank flooring throughout this home. The only place we'll see that change is gonna be in the bathroom. You see marble ceramic tile flooring. So stepping into the bedroom portion, you have a really, really nice size closet over here, double doors, lots of storage in there. I'm gonna back up and show you, you have tons of space in the bedroom portion itself. So you could put your bed on this wall with two nightstands. Um, you could put your TV on that wall. If you wanna mount another TV on the side of that wall, that's totally up to you. Um, but you have plenty of room in here to accommodate whatever you might need. Um, and we are gonna get to that balcony at the end. I do wanna show you the bathroom really quickly. So your bathroom is just off of both spaces. So convenient for your guests to use, convenient for you to use. You have marble ceramic tile flooring once again, Great, super pretty, easy cleanup. Um, if you have like a mop or something, this is gonna be super easy to work with. You don't have to worry about carpet, like it getting stained or anything. You have a single sink vanity in here with the same cabinet color we saw in the kitchen. You do have a little bit different countertops in here. You have white quartz. Um, those ones are white quartz as well, but they're speckled. These are just slate white quartz. And then you of course have the chrome finishes that we saw earlier as well. And then a really, really nice mirror over this vanity. Even though it is a single stick vanity, you have tons of space on either side of the counter here. And you have a really, really nice sized tub with rain shower head option as well. So, so dueling options here. And I love that we have this marble ceramic tile in here continued from the floor to the walls. And it goes all the way up to the top, which is not something that you see a lot. It may usually like stop halfway 
or just above where the rod is, um, but having it go all the way up is just that added touch of luxury. Um, it really feels super elegant, um, and I love the continuation of that throughout. And now we're gonna go take a look at this insane balcony, and I say insane because once you see it, you will understand why. So I just came out of the door over here, so I'm in the back corner of this balcony, which quite honestly could accommodate really like anything that you might need. So you could put down, we've seen people put down like some faux turf and just like lay down some shingles over here. If you have a pet, like if you have a pet, this is gonna be a dream for them. Even if you have a lot of patio furniture, you wanna put like a couch set over there, a kitchen table set over here, a swinging chair, like an egg chair or something over here. You have so much room to work with and you have these really nice dividers too. Your neighbors on that side won't see you. Um, same with that side as well. Tons of privacy, but lots of lots of room. That is our SD floor plan here at Residences at Capitol View in downtown Nashville. If you're interested in seeing this floor plan or potentially leasing a different floor plan, give us a call and let us know or go to our website, residencesatcapitalview.com for some more information.